Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the garden. Just starting to rain, so only a quick video of this. I want to uh, take a look at one corner at the bottom of the garden where we're just about to do a load of work and change things quite significantly. Um, yeah, some big bamboos down there as well, as you can see behind me. Uh, clump forming bamboos, so we'll take a look at how big the clumps are because they've been in a while now, about 10 years, maybe longer, and they're getting quite big. And gunnera and uh, yeah a few other things going on down here uh, it's a bit like a building site actually and it's going to get a whole lot worse very soon uh, yeah so let's take a look so this area of the garden bottom right hand corner work in progress as you can see so we're going to build a four post structure here um, and i got given some flags so i laid them out just to see how they'd sit in relation to this bed because obviously I want that there to be 90 degrees um, if I'd have put them against this row of sleepers it'd have run out uh, but I'll bring them these sleepers up to the their flags when they get laid and also these sleepers will come up as well which will make that bed even bigger I'm gonna stick a berinda in this corner and behind it gunnera Cryptica banned. <laughs> banned from sale in the UK now due to it being invasive. Uh, there's Persicaria and all sorts and some nettles. Um, yeah, so two clump farming bamboos here. Let's get in and have a look. Phagesia scabrida. And that is growing through the little wall there. So I'm going to thin this out this year. Um, the garden's open on the NGS in August, so it'll be after that, I think. And um, Fagesia Morelia, which has managed to push the wall over, so I'm going to thin that one out as well. Um, Tetrapanax, standard form, dead as a dodo, but it's always putting new bits up. Oh, there's one. Um, yeah, and a pile of old wooden decks. Now, Yesterday, when I was moving all these, I found a newt. I don't know nothing about newts, but it was dead fat at the back end and really docile, so I assumed it was with young. I don't know. Please uh, put something in the comments. If, if I'm right, uh, I've repositioned it under there. I'm not gonna move it, I don't wanna disturb it, but got us, and there was a couple of frogs as well. So it got us thinking, I think in this area here, I might just dig some out and make like a, a little bit of a, a shallow uh, wildlife pond and that pot there is what I put sassapal martyr in I leave it in 12 months and it looks like someone's woven a basket around the inside um, need to get that planted but yeah and uh, I'm growing it would appear a golf ball there um, I don't know what that's got there yeah what else is going on in here ah mera pel pepo forgot what it's called yeah lovely little thing uh, but yeah you can see there's, there's a lot going on around here that's why the tools are here Indocalamus, tessellatus, and various other things. So yeah, that is the plan for this area. Does it, I'll certainly thin these bamboos out as well. You know, people like to clump, plant clump forming bamboos, but if I get up here, <coughs> you can see just how big that is. It's massive. What is that one? But this should come out fairly easy. The old trench spade and digging bar, very useful tools with plants this size. So, yeah, I'll do another video soon when we make a bit of progress. Cheerio.